today is motion and a style, uh, which will serve as second topic according to the scheme of work that we started before. So today we are continuing with uh, motion. When we say motion, the first thing that's supposed to come to your mind is change in position of an object. That is when an object moves from one position to another. So therefore, when you are asked to define motion, just say is the changing in position of an object with time. Simple. Now, we have different type of motion. That is different way by which an object can move from one point to another. So the first one uh, is linear motion. Though there's no arrangement in it, if you are asked to state type of force, a type of motion, and state it anyhow, just make sure you know what you are saying. So we have linear motion from the name linear this this is a line you can see line that is straight straight line so we are asked to define it you can see on this table i have type of motion then the middle keyword that you need when you are defining it then these are the example now we have linear motion that is from here we have straight line that is the movement of an object on a straight line an example of such is a car moving on a straight road on a straight road Likewise, when you are walking on a road, on a straight road, that is linear motion. Now, another type of motion is oscillatory motion. Now, the key word for this one is to and fro. Don't forget, most of the, most of the time we say it. When you want to go somewhere, say, mommy, please, give me transfer speed for to and fro. So you mean to go and to come back. So, but under this one, our go and come back, it's not just to go and come back. You must follow that same direction that you follow when you are going. So we follow that same direction. We are coming back. So it means the oscillatory motion is movement of an object in to and fro manner. So that's why I say movement of a simple pendulum ball. So you can see, let's try and see it here. This is a simple pendulum experiment. Oscillation is a simple pendulum ball to, that we normally use to perform experiment on simple oscillation. Just display it like this and release it. You can see it's moving to fro. To through. That is not only a sample, you can have it on the screen. So you just press this one down like this, release it. So it will move up, down, up, and down, up, and down. That is another example of what? Oscillatory motion. Even our, the heartbeat, our heartbeat is an example of what? Uh, oscillatory movement. to move up, up, down, up, down, up, back, front, back, front, back. It's an example of oscillatory movement, uh, motion. Another one is what? Movement of what? Uh, piston of a of an engine up down up down is another example of what oscillatory motion then another type of motion is what random motion and the key word for that is what zigzag or irregular manner zigzag or irregular manner so then example of that is what movement of a small you can see if something just happened among the students in the class just they, they will just be moving anyhow why are you moving here and there? Why are you moving regularly? Why are you moving zigzag? So if you see someone that's moving in on specified direction, that is the movement that does not have specific direction. So we call it what? Since a movement of butterfly is part of it, sometimes butterfly will fly up, sometimes will come down. Then some people they count movement of snake as well, as an example of it. Yeah? Then let's move to another type of movement, which is what? Rotational motion. This one, the key word on that it is what? About its axis. Don't misquote the most rotational motion with circular motion. They are different from each other. This one, about its own axis. Eh? But for circular motion, about the axis of another object. Take for instance, if you have this body, you have this one. If this one is moving like this, eh? it's moving like this, that is rotational motion. But if this one is like this, and another body is moving around it. You can say circular motion. Look at the movement of a fan blade. This is an example of what? Example of rotational motion. Rotational motion. So when an object is moving about its own as we call it rotational motion. But in case of circular, an object will be at the center of the space. Right? So if you are winding a stone like this, that is what? Circular motion, not rotational motion. Then the fifth, I mean the sixth part, our type of motion is what? Relative motion. To me, I believe the relative motion is major type of motion. Because it's one that makes you know that actually something is moving. When you are inside the car, 
close your eyes and you close all the window, you will not know that the car is moving. But by the time you open the window, you see another reference outside, another frame outside. So that those three outside the car, they are moving backward, or the houses, they are moving backward. Your mind will tell you, you see that those trees or houses are moving, or the car where I am in is moving. So that is that about uh, relative motion, that is movement of a body in reference or in reference to another body and that another body we call it frame of reference frame of reference the body through which you are referring this your own condition weight then an example of that a car moving relative to the ground or a tree now these are the type of motion they may ask you state type of motion majorly we have the normally mentioned four linear oscillatory random Rotational, but in, if they are asked to state five, you include this one. They are to state six, you include this one. Now, can an object just move anyhow? An object will not move if you place it at a point. There will be something that will make an object move. And what is that something? That something is called force. Now, let's try to see the type of force we have and effect of force on an object. So, majorly. We have two major types of force. We have two major types of force. The first one is types of force. We have number one, we call it what? Contacts. Contact. Contact force. These are, when we say contact force, we mean the force in which there is what? Contact between the two bodies. You can see, for instance, this one is like this. By the time I make my, my hand on it like this, I'm pushing it. There's contact between my hand and this little star. We call it constant force. There is this one as well. There must be contact between this ball and this mass and my hand before it will move. And that's why we call it what? Contact with pull, pulls, tension. They are the example of what? Contact force. Then the second one is force field. Force field. So in this case, there will be no contact between the two bodies. The object will just move. What if when you hear something like that, there's no contact, then the object will move. The first thing that's supposed to come to your mind that's so uh, close to us is what movement of magnets. When you have two magnets, eh, then you bring them close to each other. You see that you experience attractive force or repulsive force. Depends on the pole. So, uh, the force between the magnet is called force field. Another one is that of gravitational force. When you throw an object upward, eh, that gravity that's pushing the object downward, nobody sees it. Eh, it's at the center of the gravity. Without making contact with the object, it will press, press object downward. The another one is electric field. It's not until when you touch the wire eh, that will be elect electrocuted. Because there's something like magnet very close to that wire. The moment your hand is within that field, it will attract it. That's why we count that one also as one of what? Force field. So the three major force field are what? Gravitational force field, electric force field, and magnetic force field. Then this force has some effect on object. What are the effect of object and effect of force on object? It can change the shape of an object. Look at it. If you are pressed, you have apply force to it like this. So it will change the shape. So which means force can change the shape of an object. The force can make an object move. When you press it like this, it's as a stroke of force. It will make it to move. Then I can use it to change the direction. It's moving like this. I can change the direction as what? Well, as a sort of force. So when you apply force to an object, it can make an object to move. It can change the direction of movement of an object. It can stop an object from moving. It can change the shape of, uh, shape of an object. So those are the effects of force on object. So inshallah, uh, the next thing we will still follow after this.